Uh, greetings friends, it's Saturday. The turbine has been going a bit, but there's nowhere near enough wind to get it running at full speed. So I've decided to switch the system over to 12 volts. Which means changing the batteries over at the moment. The two 12 volt batteries connected in series, you can see by that, those red wires there. And uh, I want to change for the experiment. I'm quite happy just to change them to one battery. So rather than linking them up in parallel, just have one battery. To do it, I'll first need to disconnect the turbine and then disconnect the batteries and then open this thing up and change the switch uh, set, the dip switch settings so that we're running at 14 volts. I find that interesting because you can run a diesel heater off a 12 volt system and uh, rather than a 24 volt. So if that was the case and I wanted to stick with it being 12 volt, I'll connect these two in parallel. Well, the wind's actually picked up a bit, so I'm gonna stick with this a minute. If we do get some juice in, you'll see this orange light on the controller disappear. Yes. There you go, see the orange light has gone now off the controller. I'm going to leave this recording for a few minutes and speed it up. And then if the wind dies down, I'll do what I said I was going to do, which swap it to 24, swap it to 12 volts. If we get a good amount of power in, you'll see this, the secondary meter to the dump load should burst into life. So I'm going to leave that 10 minutes and then come back. Right, so there's no wind now, and that's a great time to do it. So I'll disconnect the power from the turbine. Then I'm just gonna remove the positive battery cable, this one, and the meter should die. Both meters should go off. Oh, that one hasn't, because it's still connected via another method. Uh, so, yeah, let's get the front off this. The main thing is when you're changing these settings that it's off so it's even though this is still on this is essentially off let me just get the manual which i have here so the voltage for the system is dictated by these dip switches which is the red one in the top there at the moment it should be number two up and number three down which i can confirm it is we want to change it to 12 volts so number two has to be down and number three has to be up so they're just going to switch positions two is going to go down Three is going to go up. Right, I know why it's still saying 26 volts on the thing because what I just disconnected was actually the dump load. So we've got the controller set up for now. What I need to do, these two are the battery wires. So I'm just going to disconnect the dump load cable a minute. And then all I need to do is undo this one and put it on there. So let's do that now. So we're going to get rid of that. Now the meter's gone off. We're going to disconnect this. Now the smaller cable here is the battery sense cable, which goes to the controller. So we need to make sure that fits over there, which is a bit of a squeeze, but it does. And I'm just going to concentrate on the meter for a second, because when that comes on, that should say 14 volts or thereabouts, maybe 13. That's been changed and we, we're getting an approximately right reading. So now let's connect these cables up and see what happens. One there and one there. Sweet. That looks good. The orange LED basically means we're in a low state of charge, whereas if it's just the green on, then it's charging. Just gonna put the cover back on. 
now we need to connect the turbine back up to the system so that's very simple uh, make sure they're in the right colors and now that's all done so now I'm gonna leave this recording for 10 minutes and I'm gonna reset the meter by holding the button keep holding the button until it says clear then let go and then press it again and now it's all clear so yeah I'm just gonna go inside and have a cup of tea and I'll record this for 10-20 minutes and hopefully we'll get some juice and hopefully this thing will flicker into life Cheers. So that's been 12 minutes and presumably as it's still on zero, it hasn't done anything. So I'm going to stop recording for now and uh, I'll only start recording if it starts making some power. But I'm pretty sure we're set up okay. I can't remember what I've set the float. I can't remember what I've set the voltage here at, but I'm pretty sure it's quite high. I'm just going to take the front cover off again and check. Because the only way to really know is by looking at the jumper settings because I've forgotten what it was. I think it's about 15 volts. System of voltage, battery charging, four, five, and six. There we go. So let's have a look what we've got on the front. Just looking. We have four and five on and six off. I'll try and say it correctly. So there you go. We've got it on this one at the minute. I'm just going to leave it at that because that gives it a little more chance to get going. So yeah, it's on 15 volts and I'll only come back if we start making any juice. Cheers. And that's the front back on, waiting for the wind. Cheers. Right, we're definitely getting something at this speed, so I'll just show you how fast the turbine's going. So it's definitely working. I'm going to leave it on record for a few minutes and we'll see what we get, because we've only got a mighty sum of two watts at the moment. And remember, if this jumps into life, which it is doing now, it means that there's something going to the dump load or that it's definitely thinking about sending it to the dump load. Ah, I believe the green flashing light that you can see here means it's dumping. So that's good. It should be green when it's charging or okay. And then I think that flashing light must mean it's dumping something. Let's wait and see if, uh, if this goes off, that should stop flashing. Yeah, there you go. Cool, yeah, so I'm gonna leave that on a few minutes and we'll see what we get. Sweet.